Hi St. Francis, this is Denise DK. I am back with you today to share my reflection. Um, it is Wednesday, May 27, 2020. Now today, we anxiously await to open up as a state. But is it the safest time to do so? We're also anxiously awaiting for our church building to finally open up. But when will it actually feel okay to come out and be with a large group of people, even in church just yet? Now, these are questions that I've often been pondering lately, especially since we're now trying to come up with a safe plan to, for our church reopening in the Archdiocese. I think about the new way that things are going to be, and I think of the parallel of the birthday of the church coming up this weekend, Pentecost Sunday. What will this mean for us this year? I think this year it definitely has a brand new meaning. To me, this whole coronavirus situation somehow gave us a renewal of the church, obviously not in the way that we expected or wanted. We've been home and away from our physical church family for months, and how many of us have had time to ponder about our mission? Many of us probably have been asking God about our purpose and his purpose, his call to mission for us. What now? Pentecost Sunday marks the beginning of the mission of the church, and I believe our mission as individual Christians today has not been put to a halt but just force us to think deeper and outside of our church walls. Now, while we've been away from our fellow church members, have we reached out to people that we may not have seen at church while we're reaching out to our friends and family that we don't get to see? Have we continued to carry God's mission to bring people back to the church or just to introduce them to God? For as long as we are in the church building or away from it, our mission to spread God's word still stands. And I believe prayer and strength from God is so important now more than ever. Evangelization is not a Catholic strongest suit, but I believe that now it could be a great time to try. I just want to share with you a story that some may have heard from me before or may have heard in person um, from Father Dwight. Um, he is a priest that visited us at St. Francis for um, a, um, it's a Pentecost celebration we did a couple years ago. Um, he's from Tacoma and um, he gave us a lot of stories and um, his reflections about evangelizing. But here's one in specific about his work in a Safeway. So Father Dwight would stand in the cereal aisle of a Safeway a couple days a week because he believed that that was the busiest aisle. The employees there know him and so when they see him they say, hey Father Dwight, are you working today? Father Dwight's work has to, was to evangelize in the busiest aisle of the store. He told us that he once stood in front of a customer reaching for her cereal and she said, excuse me, can I please get around you because you're, you're in the way of the box that I wanna to get to. And then Father Dwight says, oh, is that the one that you want? Well, let me tell you what it is that you need. That year, 11 people were baptized into the Catholic Church from the cereal aisle. Now, we don't all have to be that gutsy. We can start smaller. Evangelize to those we know, especially those we know that need God more than ever today. I believe that this is where our divine renovation can start as a church. Be the voice that Jesus sent out in his place. We can celebrate the mission of the church in this way. I pray that you all feel the Holy Spirit continue to call you to your mission, even in the days that we can't be at church together. And maybe we can be called to mission from our homes and find our way through that. Thank you, everybody. Um, I hope that you are continuing to stay safe and let's all continue to pray together and for one another. Um, and I hope that we can all see each other soon. Take care, everybody.